1927 b103 twister theory penrose finer space hermitine matrix well study there's the alien radio signal and my brackets are too big they don't fit in my camera there we go okay so we're going to talk about still talk about twister theory um, this is Fedja Hadrovic, Roger Penrose, Twister Theory, Space Time, Minkowski, Mathematics, Physics, Quantum Relativity, Spiner's Equations, found in line 22's Wow Data. So, November 23rd, we're looking at 7B102 projective Twister Minkowski Space Photons Equations. My thoughts. Um, we're still talking about the line 22 7B97Z84A video which I've said over and over again in the last 20 or so. Um, these are all the keywords from it, and they've made formulas, so I made more videos. Quote from a blog, Fedja Hadrovic and Twister Primer Introduction. The past 30 years, a lot of work has been done on developing Twister theory. And creator, its creator, Roger Penrose, was first led to the concept of Twisters in his investigation of the structure of space-time. And it was he who first saw the wide range of applications for this new mathematical construct. Yet 30 years later, twisters remain relatively unknown, even in the mathematical physics community. So, here we are 30 years later with the wow signal. And it's bringing up something we don't know too much about. So, I think it's pretty cool. Which tells me, like it's figured out other things for us, I think it's going to figure out the twister theory for us too. So that's exciting news, right? The reason for this may be the air of mystery that seems to surround the subject even though it provides a very elegant formalism for both general relativity and quantum theory. These notes are based on a graduate lecture course given by our Penrose and Mathematical Institute, Oxford in 1997 and should give a brief introduction to the basic definitions. Let us begin with the building blocks of spinors. Spinors, let k to the a be a vector in 1 uh, plus whatever that is, space-time. We choose to represent it in the form of a Hermitine matrix. So there's the calculations. And if Ka is null, future pointing, there is a de decomposition. And there's more formulas there. Now, K is a spinor and Ka is an element of the conjugate spin space. Okay? So that's what it all says. The notation may be unusual, but all we are doing is elementary algebra. I'm glad you're doing that because I have no clue what you're doing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being sarcastic. I seriously don't know anything about algebra, <laughs> but I'm learning. <laughs> As I do these videos, I can't help but learn, right? So we have shown that we can parametrize the null cone by two complex numbers, the components of the spinor. So in the projective, and there's this, some symbols there. In the projective case, when we are interested only in the direction of more symbols. The space of parameters introduces two more symbols. The one-dimensional complex projective space, which is homeomorphic to two more symbols, the celestial sphere. Again, if you go to users.ox.ac.uk, you can see all these lovely little symbols. So the keyword twister theory plus electromagnetism in spinal rotation is going to be in the next video. Thanks for watching.